As the rivers rise and spill over their banks, slowly the forest floor begins to flood again. Animals' lives must be finely tuned to water level changes. As the new floods begin to arrive, the beaches will soon be covered with water. Having incubated in the sand for 45 days, the eggs of the giant river turtle hatch. After hatching, the young turtles spend two or three days struggling to the surface of the sand. The baby turtles emerge from the sand in two distinct waves. The first wave consists of about 60% of the turtles, whereas the remaining newborn clamber out about two to three days later. This hatching strategy perhaps evolved to double the chances of survival. After digging their way free, the tiny reptiles then hasten to the protection of the river. If they are lucky, they will return in about six years to breed and nest for themselves. In the meantime, they will disperse far and wide in the immense river system. The floods in the Amazon are controlled not only by the heavy rainfall in the vast lowlands, but also by that falling the mountainous headwater regions. Rainfall is especially intense along the Andes. River water leaving the Andes rushes through the gorges and then takes about two months to travel through the Amazonian lowlands. As the floods move downstream, catfish begin to migrate and fight their way upstream through turbulent water. Fishermen are prepared for the schools of migrating fish. The abundance of life in the rivers becomes especially apparent at rapids, where both fish and fishermen confront dangerous water. Driven by instinct, the fish attempt to disperse upstream. Fishermen, perched on rocks and scaffolding, attempt to gaff the fish that fight through the crashing water. Thank you. 
Where the Andean rivers spread out over the Amazonian floodplains, the current is slowed and the silt settles out. Waters invade the flooded forest and bring with them an abundance of aquatic life. With the arrival of the floods, the flooded forest begins to fruit and is once again magically transformed into a rich orchard. The white-balled wakari and many other animals depend on this annual renewal of fruit abundance. Although living in the forest canopy, the monkeys are affected by the floods, for it is the floods that trigger the forest to fruit and produce this amazing bounty. Below, where birds were nesting during the dry season, now fish have returned from the far-flung rivers and swim about in search of fruit and seeds. This most curious of rainforests, the flooded forest, is the home of some of our planet's most beautiful and remarkable creatures. The flooded forest is one of the world's last wetland frontiers. It is a key link in the entire Amazon system, including the rivers, the lakes, and the forests. For thousands of years, the flooded forest has supported the modest demands of the local peoples. Today, governments are forcing their own demands on Amazonian rivers and forests. Huge development schemes are putting heavy pressures on the entire system. It remains to be seen whether it is possible to use but still preserve this most beautiful and productive place and its unique inhabitants.